so first, just uh, just talk a little bit about how you got involved with this, because obviously this was uh, this was a very passionate film, had a lot of important issues going on, and also a, like a big figure. So so what drew you to the project? Uh, a few years ago, uh, I made a movie called Walk the Line, and and the uh, producer of Glenn, Cam thank you. Um, the producer of Glenn Campbell's last two albums was actually working with my son, and uh, who is uh, was 14 at the time. And uh, he kept coming into the studio where, where our editing room is, and he would say, you got to work on a film about Glenn Campbell. And, uh, and uh, the thought was, well, we already made Walk the Line. We're not, not time for another biopic. He says, no, no, no. Glenn's got Alzheimer's, and he's going to do one final tour. And uh, Trevor and I talked about it, and I'm not sure we want to do this because the guy's got Alzheimer's, and everything that we had seen up to that point um, well, we actually spent the weekend watching it and uh, well, films about Alzheimer's and it was so depressing. It was like you wanted to slit your wrist with a butter knife. Uh, Alzheimer's, to me at that point, was unknown. It was frightening. It was um, something I didn't want to catch, didn't want to be around. And, uh, and then we met Glenn. And then we realized what a very special human being he was. And um, we decided in spite of resisting it that it was the right thing to do. We thought we were going to do this for maybe a month. It was five weeks. Five. <laughs> it was actually uh, four weeks and four days. Um, we, we literally thought that based on everything we'd heard from the doctors, from his management, that if he did go on tour, maybe it would be four or five weeks. And um, a year and a half later, we finished filming him. We did it. 151 shows, 1,400 hours of film. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it was an incredible journey. Glenn started, uh, I guess he was, a, he, he, he asked us to make the movie. I mean, that, that's also the most special thing. When, when a guy says, I have part-timers, his wife would say, you, honey, you have Alzheimer's. He's, what's that? part-timers <laughs> and <laughs> so it started with that and and when Glenn asked us to do this it was really hard to turn him down and and uh, one of the things that was really special uh, when we first met him my son Johnny uh, came across the living room with a guitar in his hand and Glenn goes hey I play guitar and, and John, John, of course, knew who this was Glenn Campbell and, and, and he says yes sir I know and and Glenn says you want me to show you some and he picks up the guitar, and he starts going like you saw in the movie, which is just unbelievable. And he said, that's what Uncle Boo taught me. He said, now I want to show you that scale again. I want to, next time I see you, I want you to know that. He hands the guitar back. A couple minutes later, he goes, hey, I play the guitar. <laughs> and so we got to see right up front the, the Alzheimer's, and we got to see the repetition in the beginning. But he, his sweetness, his kindness, and... Uh, the love he had of Kim, and he would, you know, in his repetition, I remember at that time he was also saying, when a man findeth a good woman, he findeth a good thing. I found me a good thing. And then he'd point to Kim. And so you saw this incredible love of these two people and their willingness to actually just uh, to share their story with the world and, and to actually tell the gnarly truth. The, the Glenn, Glenn was absolutely fearless. So. And I think the other thing that sucked us in was he was funny. He was funny from the moment we met him till the last day we saw him. I mean, this is a guy who, even cognitively struggling, he's still making jokes. And, and I think that made us feel like, all right, he, aging country musician, iconic, he's got Alzheimer's, how are we going to make a movie about this? But after spending time with him, we were constantly laughing. I mean, we both talk about maybe the most joyous experience of our lives was working on this movie, a movie we thought was going to be, oh, wow, this is really going to be a dark place to go. And we had the opposite experience. Yeah. We, we look forward to spending time with him every single day.